Okay, this video is going to show you how to make fruit that starts at the top and falls to the bottom. Um, just before we start, I want a few things to happen with my fruit. I'm only going to make one at first, but I want it to appear at the very top. So if we look at the Y coordinate down here, when I move my mouse up to the very top, that is somewhere around 180. But I don't want it to appear in the same place every time, so I want it to pick a random value across which is the x-axis so if you look down here again bottom right furthest left x is minus 240 furthest right is 24 plus 240 so we need to bear that in mind um, the top of the screen is 180 the bottom is minus 180 and that's on the y-axis left is minus 240 right is 240 and that's on the x-axis now that we've got that straight I'm going to go into choose a new sprite from file things and my first fruit is going to be my bananas again use the shrink sprite to make them a bit smaller and we've got to imagine that this might not be the first time somebody's played the game so wherever the bananas are when the green flag is clicked to start the game we need them to disappear and go to the top so that's the first thing we need to do when the green flag is clicked looks hide and then go to now remember we said the top of the screen was 180 so I'm going to change Y which is up and down to 180 I don't want to set a definite X value I want it to pick a random one so I can do that by going to operators and choosing pick random 1 to 10 would be somewhere a tiny value in the middle here um, I want minus 240 which is the very leftmost to 240 which is the very rightmost and I can drop that operator into my go to X. I'll just minimize my screen so you can see that. So when the green flag is clicked, it's going to hide, go to a random place uh, across at the top of the screen. And then what I want it to do is wait for a random number of seconds before appearing so that it doesn't appear immediately. So what I can do there, again, is go to control and choose wait. At the moment it waits one second, but we can use this operator again, this pick random. And 1 to 10, 10 seconds is quite a long time to wait, so I want it to wait somewhere between 1 second and 5 seconds before it shows. So again, I need to tell it to show. There we go. So if I click the green flag, my bananas should disappear, go to the top, and after either somewhere between one and five seconds, appear at a random place across. Let's have a look, see if it does that. They've hidden. There we go. If I click it again, they should hide, wait around a number of seconds, and pop up somewhere else. There we go. So now we've done that, we want to make them fall to do that I'm going to use a glide command so motion glide to now we want it to glide to the bottom of the screen so we'll deal with the Y axis the up and down axis first the top of the screen is 180 we want the bottom of the screen to be minus 180 and we want it to glide to the same X position as it's appeared in up here so we don't want it to go glide across the screen like that or like that we want it to glide straight down so we need to get X to detect what it's picked up there again go back to sensing and choose X position of and I've called it sprite 1 it's going to be more useful if I call it bananas or bananas there we go so the X position of banana and I can drop that in there again I can vary the speed 1 is very quick 2 is slower, 3 is slower again. I could even use my random operator, pick random somewhere between 1 and 5 seconds, so it will choose. If it chooses 1, it's going to fall fast. If it chooses 5, it's going to fall more slowly, and somewhere in between. So let's have a little look and see if it actually does that. Disappears. Appears at random, 
and falls in a straight line. Fantastic. Now it does that once at the moment. What I want it to do then, when it gets to the bottom, is I want it to disappear. So I want it to hide again. And I want it to keep looping. I want it to keep looping around this part. So, control and forever. And put a forever loop around that. There we go. So it should keep falling now. Let's have a little look at random speeds from random places in a straight line. Looks good to me. Now, because I've got this script right on my banana, I can insert another sprite. Find some more fruit if I can. Or not. Let's put some cheesy puffs in. Make them a bit smaller. Like so. And I can duplicate my banana script by dragging it over the top of that there. What you've got to be aware of then, just rename the sprite, is that it still says exposition of bananas here and you need to change that to be the sprite you're dealing with. So you can recreate lots of other fruit. Let's just have a quick watch. They should fall at random times and at random speeds. There we go. They both pick the same number of seconds there. They're both disappearing when they get to the bottom. Very nice. Once you've got your falling fruit or falling crisps or whatever you have set up, move on to the next tutorial.